Well, we'll start with Wes and then go to Mike. Yeah, well, that's a pretty potent lineup there. And, and for, for six innings, you, you kind of kept them held down. Uh, maybe the, the third time through the lineup got a little tougher. But but did you feel good coming out of the, the gates today? It looked like your, your stuff was, was pretty on point. Yeah, I did. It was pretty sharp um, early on. And then even late, I still felt like it was, it was coming out of the hand pretty good. But, you know, when you face a lineup like that, you kind of just got to mix and match. And, and you almost go reversal, like you want them to hit it early in the count. So you just kind of got to go right at them, put a little bit of, put a will stamp on it and say, here you go. And, you know, see what they can do with it. Well, what, what's it like in the dugout watching? I assume you were in the dugout, at least in the ninth there. What's it like seeing that moment happen when, when Max walks the plate and, and hits that walk off? Yeah. So I'm standing on the bench um, in the back behind behind B and, and across from uh, Anderson. And so what they, they call time to talk to Ferg. And I think everybody in the stadium thinks you're going to sack him over, right? Because then you get the tying run on second. And I think Frank put a little bit of magic dust or something on Ferg, told him, you know what? I mean, you just hit a three-run jack. And so first pitch, I mean, you can't really draw it up any better, but I acted like a kid. I mean, I, I think I gave – Anderson a little right right hook and a left hook right there in the kidney and then he gave me one back and then I sprinted to I, I don't really know what happened to be honest with you but that was insane All right, we'll go to Troy and then Ben or Ben Derek, call your camera. All right, we'll go to Troy next well Ryan brought this up earlier asking Tony but it does seem like you've pitched your best against some of the better teams on the schedule this year I guess is I don't know if surprise is it the right word, but has any of this come as a surprise to you, you know, just as how successful you've been against some of the best teams in the country this year? Uh, not really. So my dad didn't really play baseball. Um, but one thing he always preached to me when I was little, and he never really tried to get it, step on coaches' toes, but he would learn stuff, you know, that I was told from coaches, and he would try to reiterate that. And it was always composure, composure. And so I've stuck with that from – little league on up until now playing on a pretty, pretty big stage. So I think that um, that helps me just kind of take the situation for what it is. And then um, I, I like to pitch in big games. You know, this is fun. There's a lot of people, there's a lot of emotion and, and it means the world to everybody involved. So I think that's part of it. And, you know, Peyton Manning was here yesterday. So I was trying to do my little impression of being, being a surgeon. Ben and then Ryan. Well, I'm sure Max is somewhere around you listening, so I'm going to put you on the spot. Evan Russell's grand slam or Max Ferguson's three-run home run today? You had to. You had to. <laughs> and I pitched both those games, right? So right. you can't ask for much more than that. Um, I, I literally told Russell in the outfield, I said, man, that's right there. That's right there. I'm not taking the cop out. I'll go, I'll go first, not because he's sitting here. It was a walk off, and and Russell's Russell's at the time was tough to beat, but somehow somehow uh, I'll I'll go Ferg right there. That's that's the biggest swing I've seen, um, being a part of this program, and that's what I came here for. You know, we've come a long way since I stepped foot in Knoxville, and it's it's unbelievable to see where it's at right now, and and I'm so excited for where we're headed, and and we're just we're focused on it day by day. But man, it is freaking awesome to come to the field every day and be a part of this team. Apparently, you're the key piece to, to these magical moments. I, I did want to ask you about the grand scheme of uh, having both of those moments in the same season, just kind of where the program was when, when you got here and, and kind of where it was now. Just how meaningful is it to you to have those two moments in, in one season? Yeah, it means the world to me. And to be honest, so I saw um, a former teammate who was a senior my freshman year and we were kind of talking and it was Hunter Martin who was the the Friday pitcher that year and he was real good played played a couple of years with the Astros I was like man there's something you know I love analytics right I'm a smart guy I think those play a huge role but there's some stuff like V talked about Redmond's always in the game when we win somehow he finds his way in and then that swing Max Ferguson there's no data point there's no explanation for how that stuff happens you just get a group of guys together that know how to compete and put in the time and, and it, you know, we're seeing the fruit of our labor and, and I truly think the game rewards um, the people who work the hardest and compete the longest. And, 
and I'll stand by that. Kind of going off the same sentiment about how far this program's come. Just in your first couple of years, could you ever envision the, an atmosphere at Lindsey Nelson Stadium like this weekend and a moment like uh, today? No, no, and I and I wanted it. I wanted people to be excited about baseball in Knoxville, but we had to give them a reason to. So, you know, to say I envisioned it, yes, I did, but um, it, it took a long time. It took a lot of hard work, and uh, you know, it's exciting to give these fans something to be excited about, and uh, we're right there with them. You know, everybody wants to win, and it's really comforting knowing that you you know there's some energy and and people care and uh you know i'm looking forward to see that continue all right we'll do one more for for will we'll finish up with troy well you mentioned evan's home run and obviously the next day didn't go so well for y'all against vanderbilt as this as one of the senior members of this team what's the message to the group you know in the clubhouse heading into tomorrow with a chance to take this series yeah i mean everything's mutually exclusive right so that was a different team a different weekend. Um, Blade Tidwell's gotten better since then. Everybody on the field's gotten better since then. So it's another opportunity to go out there and win a series. Um, and that's not to be cliche. That's just how you have to approach it. So um, I think we see a good one out of Blade tomorrow. Um, you know, may see another good swing from Fergie. He may get a bunt hit. You never know with that guy. He's going he's gonna to be a menace to the other team somehow. But, you know, somebody may step up and, and look like the hero tomorrow. But that's just the way this team goes is somebody's going to get you. Thanks, Will. Thanks, guys.